Salomon Santos and his family left Honduras with one goal in mind, to cross the border to the United States. He blames gang violence for driving him from home. If it wasn't a question of our lives, we wouldn't have put ourselves in this situation. But over there, life is hard and dangerous. I just want to protect my family and we are seeking a dignified life. But that's unlikely to happen while Donald Trump is US president. He says the caravan must be stopped. The caravan, isn't that nice, of illegal aliens to flood into our country and overwhelm your communities. That's what's happened. Have you seen the pictures? Trump is using executive power to overturn or bypass America's immigration laws. He wants to deny the right to apply for asylum to anyone who enters the US illegally, arguing refugees are a threat to national security. However, the United Nations says people are forced to cross illegally because the alternative, going through an official border crossing, takes months. The president's attempt to change asylum law has been temporarily blocked. A federal judge found that it was unconstitutional because it violated Congress. So for now, it's on hold. But thousands of people are traveling to the U.S. border anyway. Long-standing insufficient reception capacity at the official U.S. southern border port of entry is implies significant delays in the northern part of Mexico. And this is forcing many vulnerable asylum seekers to turn in desperation in the hand of smugglers and cross the border irregularly. That's what Fernando Lanza wants to do. I would rather smuggle myself across the border and stay without documents because the asylum process has become much harder. They detain you for months, make you wear an ankle monitor or make you sign a paper giving up your rights. I can't risk being deported. There's another constitutional question here. Is President Trump trying to overturn the Fifth Amendment? A 1993 ruling found that amendment entitles everyone to a proper legal process in the case of possible deportation. The American Civil Liberties Union is now suing the president over this. If it fails, the only route to asylum in the US will be through a designated port of entry. That leaves thousands of people stuck in migrant caravans across Mexico with little hope of ever making it to the United States. And in the end, that is President Trump's goal. Nicole Johnston, TRT World, Tijuana.